Hey, there's the uh, film canister cannon that I just completed. If you have a 10-year-old uh, grandson or a 12-year-old granddaughter or a um, 40-year-old son or 42-year-old son or a crazy old lady, maybe they may like something like this, okay? Well, we start off, uh, the basic construction is a block of wood. And this, this kind of wood here, it's like uh, if you go into the lumber yard, they call it a two by two. And it ain't actually a two by two, but it's just a square block. Uh, this actually turned out to be one and a half inches square. Uh, I cut the, the tail end off of it at a 45 degree angle. And then I used that piece that I cut off right there is sitting up here to hold the film canister. Uh, there are two wheels on that. There's a bolt that runs through it. I just run the little bolt through it. Uh, the wheels were made using a um, a hole saw, and see that it just automatically drilled a hole in the center of that piece of board. Um, I think this was cedar that I cut on. That is about a half inch. And then I drew on there the little, like little chariot lines. The other piece here, this is a film canister. And it's attached to this um, piezoelectric uh, device. It creates a spark. You've got one in your, uh, in your, any of these fire starter things. That goes, the device is, yeah, you hear that clicking? Okay, when it clicks, um, that's what, what we want. The clicker provides a spark. All right, what we did was, let me just take this apart, is that we uh, drilled a hole. I poked a hole in this uh, lid, a very slender hole, and I went, I just poked a hole in the lid and set that aside. But then I drilled a hole that went from um, it went through here and it came out the bottom. I just kind of aimed the drill at it and it came out the bottom. And if you look real closely here, there is a wire coming out the back here. And that wire coming out the back, there are two of them that are connected to this clicker. I'll just call it a clicker right now. That provides a spark. And I got when the wires came through here. I put them together uh, where they made a little spark. Eh, can't see that they're sparking now. Uh, there's a little bit of a spark. That, that'll shock you, uh, give you a slight shock. Oh, that's a nice arc. That's a nice arc going across that. The, um, I put some hot glue underneath this this piece of wood right here to keep that mounted down. Uh, these two wires were attached to this uh, clicker and I ran them through a hole in there, the smallest hole that they would fit through. They come out through the lid. I twisted the wires so that that would keep the ends of the wires close. And as you can see there, I've got a gap, a uh, quarter of an inch or whatever, whatever looks good. So the way this is going to operate is um, we're going to take uh, get some alcohol and I have a small um, eyedropper type deal and so I'm going to squeeze up some alcohol and put it inside this cap. For experimental pur purposes we're going to do four drops. One, two, three, four. Now, this is uh, not the stoutest thing in the world that's put together. I didn't use a whole lot of glue in case I wanted to take it apart. So I'm going to take the uh, lid to the film canister that I have in my hand, and I'm going to press it in. So now I've got it, I got my little cannon assembled. That's all assembled. Now the alcohol is inside there, it's, it's closed area. I'm going to shake it to uh, atomize the alcohol. 
and then we will um, see what happens. Gosh almighty damn! <laughs> Dead gum! Oh boy. Nice surprise, wasn't it? Yeah. Thought you'd like that.